I'm Lloyd Holiday, and this is the Cost of a Thing podcast. Thanks for listening in today. So what happened to that great standard of living that we enjoyed here in America in the 1960s? The answers to that question is what the Cost of a Thing podcast is all about. Okay, so I've been running from three things all of my life and to try to escape from them so that I could have a better standard of living. And those three things are the inflation, the population, and the corporation. Well, you might ask, well, what does that mean? Uh, So let's take a look at the chart up on the uh, screen. This is my top 10 list of super ripoffs reducing our standard of living over the last 50 years or so. And every one of those things on that list, in one way or another, involves either inflation, a population explosion, or corporations and what they've, the behavior they've done in the last 40 or 50 years, you know, ship jobs off to other countries and reduce salaries, reduce benefits. Uh, so everything on that super uh, top 10 super ripoff list involves one of those three things. So that's why I've been running away from it because I want to have a good standard of living like we all do. We all want to work and then when we get the pay from our work, we want to get, when we spend it, we want to get a good value for that money that we get from our work. And this is what has happened. The top 10 super ripoffs are reducing the value of the money you get from work and really reducing the value of your work. That's the opposite of getting a better standard of living. You're getting a worse standard of living. You're working harder and we're getting less for our work, less value and less for the money we spend uh, that we get from our work. So you can look look at that list right away and you can say, okay, number one, housing prices, housing costs. Well, you know, that's totally to do with inflation. Any area that's got high housing costs has had the housing inflate way higher than the salaries uh, in the area can afford. Uh, so I ran away from that. And number two, the medical uh Super ripoff. Well, I don't uh, like to go to the doctor. I, I try to stay healthy, things like that. I try to find a, a job with uh, good medical benefits so I don't have to be uh, saddled with that myself. So the medical super ripoff involves inflation. The college super ripoff, number three, that involves inflation. It's costing more and more to go to college. You're getting, you're getting less and less for your money. And they're charging you more and more money for that less of a, a product you're getting. Of course, number four, that has to do with the population super ripoff. Basically, the more people there are, the less slice of a pie, the smaller slice of a pie each person's going to get. Number five is inflation. Number five super ripoff on the list. So that obviously involves uh, inflation. Number six is the corporation super ripoff. Okay, that also involves one of the three things I've been running from. American corporations have been shipping the jobs, the manufacturing jobs and other jobs overseas, taking those good jobs away from Americans, and they've been reducing our benefits, reducing our salaries, reducing pensions. All of that lowers our standard of living. So I've been running away from them and trying to get around that, find somewhere where I could, where I could work and, and get money and still maintain a higher standard of living than they are offering. Number seven, the fake uh, government economic statistics super ripoff. Okay, that has to do, they're they're trying to say that there's no inflation with those fake statistics. No, there's no one, very little unemployment, very little inflation. Faking the statistics to make it look, make themselves look good. Uh, So that has to do with inflation also and a reduced standard of living. I mean, their statistics are telling you you're you're getting a great standard of living, but you're not. They're faking those statistics. They're 
They're fudging them. They're cooking them, whatever you want to call it. Okay, number eight, there's the Federal Reserve. They create the inflation. They are the source of the inflation. So you can't get rid of the Federal Reserve. I try to run away from the effects of the Federal Reserve, which is inflation. The military-industrial complex, that also creates uh, inflation because it's free money. They borrow most of that and print it. The Federal Reserve prints it, and it comes into the system. All this money comes in. If you live in an area where there's a military base, house prices are going to be much higher. Everything's going to be more expensive because there's all this fake money from the military-industrial complex flowing in there. And the last one, number 10 there, is the stock market super ripoff. Of course, that's inflated beyond all belief, probably four or five times its real historical value at this point. And uh, basically, I run away from that too. That's inflation. So I don't want to, I don't want to uh, play in the uh, stock market casino uh, as it exists today. And if you want a little more detail on the top 10 super ripoffs themselves, uh, uh, I've done podcast number 28 uh, is a summary of those, kind of a quick summary. And if you want more detail, I've done individual podcasts on each of them. Some of them I did a couple of podcasts on them, like the housing uh, super ripoff, because it's so big, you know, I had to do two fairly, you know, 20, 30 minute videos. Or podcasts to cover it. So as I wrap up here, that's why I've been running away all my life from inflation, the population, and the corporations. And I have lived a much better life for it, a much better standard of living. If you can stay away from those and stay away from that top 10 super ripoff list, which is composed of those three things mainly, you will live a much better standard of living like I have. Thank you for listening in today. And until next time, this is Lloyd Holiday signing off. Mm -hmm.